Uh, alrighty. So now we're going to do overtime mode properly this time. And for those of you who have short attention spans, we're trying to get a bunch of supplies so Isabella could make Frank a um, a suppressant for the vi for the uh, zombie virus. So I already have all this crap, but suppose you don't. Suppose you got captured or something, and you don't have shit to work with. Well, that's very simple. You can just go in here and get a couple shotguns. And that'll kill off a couple of a uh, couple of the guards outside here. And also in a speed run you wouldn't do this. You also wouldn't go in the order the game wants you to, but this is somewhat of a casual run. And we already saw this scene. Uh, by the way, the positions of the soldiers will be randomized. And we may as well get that bottle of wine in case I need to be healed. Where is this leading me to? Okay. Again, I'm playing by the game's... I'm playing by the game's own rules. Or rather the intended way of playing the game. And as I've... As I said last time, the zombies are mysteriously back. And while you are... Really? While you're at it, collect as many queens as you can hold. There is a reason for this. Other than just, you want queens to escape zombies. So we're just going to just blind fire into that, in there. And so, here we go. Uh, cold spray is going to be up on the second floor, alright. You're only going to want to keep the shotguns until you can get some machine guns. At least one, because the machine gun, of course, does way more damage than the, than the shotgun. Yeah, you can see how much more damage the machine gun is, or how much, yeah. Yeah, you can see how much more damaging the machine gun is compared to the shotgun. If you were speedrunning this, you would grab a skateboard and, uh, skate away. So, where does the game expect me to get... Okay, the game expects you to go to the food court to get a blender. But we can use any blender in the game for this, so... Because we're here, we may as well just grab this one. There's no reason to not get it. And while we're here, we're gonna go to this store. Uh, what's it called? Contemporary Reading. Is it this book? Weekly Photo Magazine? Yes, because with this in your inventory, you get out of here. You see those PP st uh, stickers on the ground? With the weekly photo magazine, you can see what kind of picture that's going to be, and this will help you with uh, finding queens. You don't have to have this book by any means, but if you're going to be speedrunning the game, then absolutely you would. And we'll pretend you didn't unlock the shortcut either. By the way, the helicopter, I think, is back here, so...
right there. See when they're green, that's an indicator that they have a queen on them. So yeah, as I said, you can detect queens from a lot further away with this book in your inventory. Make sure they're not uh, falling down whenever they have the... Like, when they fall down the stairs, they also have the, uh, the green sticker. Alternatively, if you didn't know about the, the book, and you didn't know that you were supposed to collect queens, you would just go down to the maintenance tunnel and run over a shitload of zombies until you got... until you get enough queens that the game will later on require of you. Probably not trying to tank all this. I'm probably being really dumb here. Uh, where is it? Get out of here. Yeah, may as well engage them too. And I found a mannequin torso. Well, not a torso, just a mannequin. I think. So dead. Uh, I actually forgot there was one here. But yeah, you'd want to use that instead, I guess. Because you can at least kill two or three guards with, uh, with this thing. Hit. There we go. And we're just gonna completely ignore it and go ignore that uh, drone and go straight to here. Like always, you will uh Whenever you're here, you never want to. You always want to take advantage of the fact that there's unlimited food items here of all sorts of varieties. Partic well, most most noteworthy would be this wine, which heal, which of course heals you by five uh, squares of health. That went fine. This is also where you would go if you wanted to get the gourmet achievement, which is eat every food type in the mall. Which I'm not going to show that off unless everybody demands that I show it off, but most of it is just grab shit from here, eat it. The only things I will show off is how to make certain types of juice, because that is required for um that is required for um, that is required for gourmet. And then there's some food items that require, in order to get them, you need to keep other items in your inventory for long enough. So. And yeah, I'm going the way the game intends me to fucking go. Not the way that's fastest, obviously. Isn't there one in the security room, too? I think there is. Uh, okay, nothing green here. Thank you. 
Oh wait, this is the one I'm supposed to go into the security room for. So I may as well drop my machine guns since I'm going to be getting... Okay, what I tried to do there was uh, aggro those uh, special forces. Apparently that only works if you shoot them directly. There might be two more around this corner. Sometimes there are, sometimes there aren't. It's totally RNG if there are or not. And I'm just gonna pick up more mannequins. Because, as we all know, mannequin torsos are the most powerful weapon in the game, except for the small chainsaw. Which I'm not sure if that's available in this mode. Like if you were to select it from the main menu. It would exist on this save file, but I'm not sure if it would normally. And because they came in here, you can actually go through this way now. Which I actually forgot about that. Okay. I think there's one. I'm actually going to save a little bit of time here. I think there's. I think there's one item on the upstairs and one on the downstairs, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'll just get those two in the same, right here, since I'm already here, as well. Okay, so the camp stove's down there. Shit. There's probably gonna be a, yeah. I was gonna say there's probably gonna be a guard here. Where's the camp stove? Uh, is that it? That's it. Yep. And the other one was... Magna... The perfume bottle. Okay. I forgot about that. Probably shouldn't have stopped to eat that snack. Dead. So the game expects me to go all the way over there. I'm actually not gonna bother, I'm just gonna save a little bit of time. I tried to do what I tried to do was do it in a casual way as if you didn't know what like, as if I were a new player and went the way the game expects me to, but I just can't. I just refuse to do it that way, because the game has it in such a stupid ass order. Now, I only. Now I would never would have known about this book helping with queens if it weren't for me watching a couple speed runs of the game. And I'm not sure if the shortcut would be unlocked upon starting overtime mode. Again, on like a fresh overtime mode only file. If it is, you would absolutely take that and use it. But I'm going to pretend it doesn't exist just in case uh, 
just in case it is locked if you try to do a new game overtime file. And, like always, I'm kind of weaving in between zombies to see if there's a queen anywhere. I'm guessing there aren't any, because the queens have a larger uh, detection. Or larger hitbox, I guess. Also, I like that there was an erotica sticker on that one zombie's ass. Actually, I should... Nah. I was gonna say I should probably get some healing items, but... Against my better judgment, I'll persevere on. Oh, and there's actually zombies here. I wouldn't have guessed. They must have done a really shitty job at clearing out the mall. And I know there's the helicopter crash, which we'll be seeing later, but... I don't think it would result in that many failed zo or that many uh, zombies. Uh. I'm gonna go kill this guy. face pressure on him. I like how, despite the fact that he's wearing a metal helmet, which should shield him from the effects of face crusher, it still instantly kills him. And am I gonna get disembowel? Somersault kick. This thing. How convenient that I learned this, because this is one of the moves you use for um, killing Brock at the end of the game here almost immediately. It's actually really cool to watch. If you do it just right, you can do this, this, and then boom, boom. And you can kill Brock in about three sec- in about five seconds. Um, I'm gonna try to show that off, but I may fuck up. Like, it, it is actually a difficult trick to do. And anyone who actually tries playing this game in speedrunning this category will tell you the same thing. It's actually difficult. Drug that stops the parasite growth. Have you ever made it before, or is it just a theory? When I was working in the medical lab, my brother asked me to research a method of suppressing the parasite. Of course, back then we didn't extract the hormones directly, we synthesized them in the lab. <laughs> so, he was looking to protect himself from his own terrorist scheme. He wanted a way out, is that it? I don't know. I know he didn't bring the drug with him here. I have no idea what he intended to use it for. You think I'm just making excuses, but 
Carlito kept things for me. <laughs> even if this, uh... Even if you do manage to make this drug, it won't completely cure me. Will it? I'm afraid not. When the effect wears off, the parasite will develop as it normally would, continuing the zombification process. Fat lot of good that does me. Well, it's the only hope I've got now. Jesus Christ, Frank's hand looked huge in that one picture. I'm sure you all noticed that, but holy fuck. I... This is all I need as far as supplies are concerned. Now all we need are some queens. Yeah, uh... Listen. Just how long do you suppose your drug will prevent me from turning into a walking corpse? During my research, I was never able to conduct proper clinical studies. To a certain extent, the period of effectiveness depends on each patient's physiology. It could be a year, maybe only a week. There's no way to tell for sure. Fantastic. So, I'll be a walking zombie time bomb. A time bomb? What? Once the drug's development was complete, Carlito poured his energy into starting an NPO dedicated to helping war orphans. We had 50 doses of the drug prepared. Not long after that, the NPO managed to find homes for a large group of children. Want to guess just how many? he infected these kids and then gave them your drug? That he made 50 little ticking time bombs? I don't know. I just don't know. It is possible, though. Look at this. New York, D.C., L.A. These kids are spread all over the country. If your theory is right, the entire country could be crawling with zombies by now. I don't know what's worse. That we don't know for sure, that we can't warn anyone about this. Well, what we need to do right now is prepare the hormone and get you taken care of. And then she says, oh no, the generator's broken down. Yes. Carlito was using the clock tower for storage. So there you go. Oh shit, what did what else did she say? I didn't mean to interrupt her text. This time. Which actually brings me to another point. When you're uh giving her And then you get that. Um if you're when you're giving her the queens, you can actually walk away from you can actually walk away from her and it'll cut off her uh, text which when delivering the queens actually saves you a bit of time, so you would do that and if you were trying to speed run this. Unfortunately, if you there can be some queens that appear outside there, 
But unfortunately, there's no way to get them until you actually go outside, which resets the zombies. strategy that a lot of people do. Oh wait, here's one. I just noticed it because it was doing that doing that animation where its hands are up in the air. Not because of the the book. There's a lot of people actually go here to try and find some queens. And they drive, they drive this car around, see if they can find some more zombies. Like right here, here's one. Oh, here's two. Like that one, I think, was dead. Yeah. And then there's one here. So that's easy two queens. And so when they get in this, when you get in this car, you can just drive around the the hordes here, see if they, you find any blotches of green anywhere. Amazing tip, and I never would have known that if not for watching speedruns. I didn't watch them just for the sake of this video, by the way. Oh, here's one. You don't want to park over top of the the thing, or else you may not be able to get it. And that might be the last one, actually. I will sacrifice a uh, mannequin torso if I must. Uh, where is it? Oh, here it was. Oh wait, no, it's not the last one, because my... My storage isn't upgraded all the way. Leads out of here. I doubt these zombies would just let us walk right through. So hopefully, I can find one more queen so I can just not have to worry about trying to. Oh, wait, I didn't even actually collect the, the generator. Oh, yeah, and there you see the helicopter is actually back. And even if you find a queen down there, uh, you can't get there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, son of a bitch. I think this is the last one. I'm not gonna count, but I think that's ten. Well, here's one more for good measure. So I have to try to get back to Carlito's hideout without engaging the military at all. Uh, 
All right, I actually got a good, good pattern there. And luckily, Justified was not blocked in the last segment, so I will, of course, be playing the full thing. I should have just about all the equipment I need now. Bring me some adult queens and I can get started. I am going to actually show off the text. One's not enough. I need at least ten. Then here's an example of skipping the text here. Actually, you would walk away as soon as you give her the queen, so it doesn't pop up at all, and you can just immediately give her another one. I think this was four that I've given her so far. I think that's five. After six, yep, I got exactly ten. And by the way, this is a precursor to Zombrex in Dead Rising 2. And here I'm going to actually save the game because this doesn't happen often. But uh, the game will occasionally crash upon this f uh, entering the next part, which did fuck me out of a A rank Saint walk uh, playthrough. And that pissed me off to no end. It's not a big deal if it happens now, but. Uh, you know, if you were doing that, then... Yeah, you'd want to make sure you save there. You're gonna inject me with that, huh? Okay, Doc. Let's get this over with. I still won't have to worry about turning into one of them for a while. Okay. Next on the agenda. Figure out a way to get the hell out of here. While I was isolating the hormone, I managed to identify a pheromone that suppresses the attack instinct in adult parasites. In other words, the zombies don't like the way it smells. If you give me a little more time, I should be able to produce some of this pheromone. They think it smells bad? You think we could use something like that to keep them away from us? We could just walk right past them and get out of here. In theory, yes. Either way, it's certainly better than nothing. There was a cave. Outside, where the helicopter crashed. It was packed with zombies. I mean, shoulder to shoulder. But it may lead somewhere outside. If it works, your anti-zombie perfume, it could keep us safe in that cave. What do you say? You ready to get the hell out of here? enough of this pheromone to waste it on experiments. We'll only have enough to use it once. Whatever you say.
So when I did that um, Saint A rank playthrough, it crashed right after this cutscene ended. My God. Yeah. earth could this lead? I don't know. But considering how many of them keep pouring out of here, it must be connected to something. Isabella, look. Any other way out of here is guarded by the military. If we're gonna get out of here and put a stop to Carlito's plan, we've got to go in there. It's the only way. It's not like we're unarmed. We got your smelly perfume, don't we? <sighs> I wouldn't be alive right now if your shot hadn't worked. The perfume's gonna work too. I know it. All right. Let's go. Yeah. So let's see. I'm going to save All right. here. There is a chance that the game could still crash. It's not very likely, but. There is a chance that it could still crash. Oh great, I gotta hold hands. Ah, oh, fuck it. Make sure you don't die here, because there is no uh, military uh, abduction thing that happens. You just straight up die. So what do you do to keep yourself alive? Uh, well, you could giant swing a zombie, or just spam double lariat. And clear out everything within a 10 mile radius of you. And I'm just going to try and giant swing towards Isabella. I'm not actually sure if Isabella can even die here. I think she can, and if she does, I don't know what happens if she does. Oh. I can't tell if her health lowered at all during that. Get the fuck out of the way. I'm just gonna try to bum rush this. That's what you do. I would say that's actually a bad RNG if I was actually trying to speedrun this. So I want to check something real quick. Do I have maxed attack power? Oh, no, I don't. So, so I may not get the uh, five second Brock kill even if I do it right. Because... Whenever people do that trick, they're at level 50. And thus they have their attack power all the way up. I don't. So... Uh, I may not get it, even if I do the trick successfully. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, well, there's a queen here I could still use. But... Isabella, get the fuck over here. Her, her AI must be stupid too, apparently. At least for this part. It's actually perfectly fine that I don't have full health. Because I actually... Oh, fucking asshole. I actually did a, uh, a minimum level run once. And I got through here with only five bars of health. So it's actually acceptable to do it that way. And I'm just 
gonna weave. I'm just gonna weave in between the zombies here and try and find the path of least resistance. Okay. This was a good idea. Guards here, too. If we can get that gate open, they'll be too busy dealing with zombies to notice us slip by. Wait. The pheromone is starting to wear off. It's only strong enough to cover one of us. What are you. What All are right, you hang doing? on tight, okay? Once we're out, let's see if we can't steal ourselves that set of wheels. Ideally, you have a queen. You would have a queen to throw it into that batch of zombies. But if not, then it doesn't really matter. So it does. It does speed up the. If you're running this, it would speed up the run a little bit. Not by a whole lot, but it would save you a little bit of time. Oh yeah, that's because Isabella can actually run up here by herself. I forgot about that detail. And the guards can still absolutely kill you. And if you had any items up to this point, uh, they will now be gone. I guess so you wouldn't be able to cheese the Brock fight, even though you still can, kind of. part here, there's really nothing to this. You just hold in whatever button makes the gun fire. In my case, it's X, and you just shoot the green, the green glowy things. You do way more... There is a way, I think, you can prevent the tank from shooting you, but you do way more DPS to the tank than it can ever do to you, so there's no reason to bother. there, it only did one bar of health, whereas I have it down to half. And this would work on a uh, low percent run, too. Shut up, this uh, You're safe. You're fine. Those little drones, just ignore them. They, it take, you, they have to hit you like 10 or 12 times in order to do one bar of health to you. They're not even worth focusing on, just kill the tank. And dead, even though I did really shitty on that. These automated machines are no use at all on the battlefield. Switch to manual control.
He doesn't think to just swerve out of the way. Aim main cannon. Oh, shit. Well, what have we here? Where were you hiding when my men mopped up the mall? On a mission in which the number of targets is unclear, it's difficult to ensure absolute thoroughness. Huh. You have imagination. That's what drives you in your quest to run. Your quest to hide. As prey, you and your kind are much more stubborn than the zombies. How much do you know about the zombies? I commanded the Santa Cabeza cleanup operation. If we had fulfilled our mission then, we wouldn't be needed here now to take care of this... incident. That's all it was to you, huh? A mission. What about those innocent people who had to pay for sins committed by our government and our its inhuman research? Our mistakes have not begun with this operation. <laughs> Humanity has proven itself to be quite adept at making mistakes. Ha! Hell, it's the only thing we truly excel at. Well then, I'd say this mission isn't quite over yet. Don't you agree? So now it's time to fight Brock, hand to hand. Let's see if I can do the quick kill. Nope, I fucked that up really bad. There is a trick where you can go... Shit. Where he can do... where you can do the front kick. And then the, as soon as... Ah, you want to get out of that as quick as possible. And then as soon as you land, as soon as your feet hits the ground, you can do that. And then hit him with a somersault kick, and then hit him with another side kick. And then finish him off from there. But uh, that's really, really hard to do. He likes to block everything. See how much damage that did. That somersault kick did. Alternatively, you can just spam double lariat. Like, do what I'm doing here. Just, like, make him climb up and down the tank. And he will be vulnerable for a few frames. You can try doing this and risk, and risk him hitting you, but also hitting him with double lariat. Which is how I've always been able to do it. So on a low on a low percent you would do this a different way since you don't have double lariat unlocked I'll admit when I did it I had to take pictures of zombies to level up oh and if you, fucking asshole if you don't have this achievement yet you can also do this in the maintenance tunnel but if you, if you take this picture, you get easily enough for group photo, which is take 50 or more 
target markers in a single photo. And he's dead. And so now I will mute my microphone and let the music play.
uh, after however many years of playing this, that still feels good to get to that point. Just to hear the, just to hear that song. And I believe that the game does register that I have gotten to this ending without being knocked out. So and now infinite modes unlocked. I'm certainly not going to be doing that yet. Frank West managed to escape the town of Willamette with information per pertinent to the incident under his belt. The news caused a fervor throughout the world, leading the U.S. government to admit at least partial cap culpability in the livestock research program. However, no connection to the Willamette incident was acknowledged and the events that occurred there were deemed the work of a fringe terrorist group. The people of the world, as, so as could be expected from the modern culture of news saturation, soon let the Willamette incident fade from their minds. The authenticity of Carlito's chilling plan to utilize the orphans as his pawns is yet to be confirmed or proven false. And yet he complained that his belly was not full. I always took that as Frank became a zombie, but that theory has been proven false. So, that's the end of the true playthrough. I'll be playing through this again, getting all of the survivors that I did not get, and just getting 50 survivors in general, and to show off uh, one more alternate ending. Actually, I'll be showing off two more through this LP. So, this game is not over yet. So, I will see you guys next time for the save as many people as possible run. See you then.